The use of modern equipment and farm inputs in rice production is increasingly turning the agriculture sector in the Gambia into a more appealing domain for increased productivity, sustainable income and food security, especially among poor rural farmers who are predominantly women. Thanks to the Ministry of Agriculture's Nema Chosu project, which seeks to reduce poverty of rural women and youth, especially smallholder farmers, by developing both rice and vegetable value chains using a holistic and integrated approach. Prior to the use of modern equipment, many rice farmers worked extensive hours and under grilling conditions, mainly because the majority of them didn't have access to the right equipment and machinery to clear and plow farmlands, plant, transplant and harvest crops, or thresh and bag harvested rice. These arduous tasks performed by hand often contributed to late planting of crops and low productivity, making the situation look bleak for most of these women in terms of food and income security. To alleviate the drudgery of rice production and also support vegetable production and reduce post-harvest losses, Nema Choso assisted with the establishment of six farmers' organizations in the most vulnerable regions across the country. These farmers' organizations comprise mainly of women embark on different income generating, capacity building and support activities for farmers and have in particular enabled rice farmers to have easier access to fertilizer, seed and critical farming needs. Their shift to using modern equipment and farm inputs such as tractors rice transplanters and combined harvesters has drastically reduced the physical burden of rice producers and cut down the number of hours they spend clearing, plowing, planting, harvesting, threshing and bagging their crops. Each farmer's organization has acquired one tractor equipped with accessories, three transplanters, two combined harvesters and one milling machine. Recognizing that women farmers understand better the hardship of cultivating rice and the value of having and safeguarding such farm implements, each farmer's organization has entrusted a small group of female members with the management and upkeep of their respective farm machinery. To ensure their proper use, selected farmers' organization members, the majority of who are women, have been trained to operate the different machines. With investments in modern equipment and farm inputs such as these machinery, under the care of women farmers, rice production is projected to increase substantially, scaling up productivity and profitability for smallholder farmers and contributing further to the country's economy.